everyone, Achika here, and it's the weekend, so that means it's time for another DCUO base showcase here on the channel. And today I got another very special one lined up for you guys. So Mean Streak 1 actually entered base off a decade in decor with their base entitled OPM, or One Psychotic Mind. Um, it's actually by Cameo 1, which if you guys don't remember Cameo 1, they had a really cool base called Genesis. I will link it up above. It was also a Vernal Greenery tech mashup, which is really cool. I love to see those bases. Like, <laughs> seems like we have a theme. Well, that was that video. I, I think OPM actually is more tech forward, if I do remember correctly, because I believe it took the best tech base uh, and theme uh, for a base off a decade and decor. So, yeah, without further ado, why don't we check out Mean Streak 1's OPM, or One Psychotic Mind. <laughs> and I think Cameo is their hero, and Mean Streak's the villain, so that's that's kind of fun. <laughs> I always like the duality when people have like a villain and a hero of the bases. I could be wrong though. Maybe Cami is a villain as well. Ah, uh, yeah. I love this entrance. I forgot. Ah, it's so cool. This is really great. I haven't done a tech theme in a long time. Nightingale's Hospital actually used to be in a tech base. That was before I recorded videos, so I don't have, like, showing of it. So I actually don't have a tech base, so... The new House of Legends stuff, I might make a tech base here at some point, so... But this is really neat. Ah, yes! The new energy barriers, and the House of Legends doors really really help shape the tech base so the reason i really dislike the tech base a lot is because these pillars like as you can see some items float against them because they're they have weird hit boxes but the house of legends doors look at this they go right up against them and like same with the the alcoves and everything and i think probably even the hallway which also is giving me like a lot of trouble when I was building my last tech base. But again, that was years ago. Like, I'm talking years and years ago. Like, 2016? <laughs> so, <laughs> it's been a minute. This looks fantastic. You really, really outdid yourself, Mean Streak. This is great. This is really great. <laughs> and this, this was one of my favorites. It's like a conveyor belt. Check this out. With the stairs clip and the barriers. With the lights, this is so cool. It's like a runway. I love this so much. Look at that. Oh, that's such good use of items. Oh, this is so great. You guys are so creative. What? I love it. So we have a command center here. Very cool. That's a great stair clip too, man. Like this is so good, especially with the railing. Oh, that's that's amazing. I love it. And here's some of the new third world objects. This is the ventilation, which I love a lot. The little pole here, and it's attached to the pipe. I hope we get some more fourth and third world objects in the future, because I really like those a lot. All right. And again, check out the House of Legends door. See, you can actually... So that's what's... The problem with stair clips is that, like, it's hard to, like, put something here, but the House of Legends doors perfectly, like... Can make a wall there, so that's really nice. Some more tech seating areas and consoles. Oh yeah. Got a tunnel here, but I'm gonna go this way first, I believe, because I kinda know what happens in this space. So here's the outfit for me and Streak. Oh, it's such a good outfit. Look at that. Very ooh, maybe they're electric. I bet they're electric with all those the spark stuff. That's a cool outfit too. Very nice. Oh, is that a Rocketeer outfit? Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. I don't know if it is or not, but if it is, that's amazing. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Ooh, I like that one, too. These are great outfits. Good stuff. So we have a... Looks like we have a... A navigation terminal here, as well as some old-fashioned maps, too, in case it goes down. But we do have a Rocketeer outfit, so maybe both the, the high-tech as well as the, the old-school tech 
mashing up to make what's going on here. Alright, let's head upstairs then. To what I think, if I remember correctly, is the laboratory. Yes! Look at this. This is great! Oh, man. Very nice. So we have an operating table here. A bunch of chemical tubes for some nefarious plotting. I'm assuming, because uh, they're a villain. Maybe not, though. Maybe anti-hero is more correct. I don't know. They kind of they have a rocketeer outfit, so, like, they kind of get a pass. <laughs> we'll go into anti-hero territory. What do you think about that? <laughs> And we'll go back downstairs, but we'll go through this tunnel first from here. Which is really cool. And then, as you can see, everything kind of starts descending into madness. <laughs> so good. I love this so much. So, I never got a full answer, I don't think, from Mean Streak or Cameo about this base. But my interpretation was that... It was like a, a villain, right? And then they either got intercepted by a virus, and this is the the chaos or outcome of them trying to uh, get rid of the virus, or some kind of like mind alteration from the chemical lab upstairs. But <laughs> as you can see, the world starts to descend into madness here, which is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> we have all the posters askewed, all the speed force ripping everything apart, the bleed energies. I love it. The chaos. It's so good. Look at this. Ah, yes. Also, another great flooring clip here, <laughs> like with the speed tunnel and the tables. Like at first I was like, how did that work? And I was like, oh yeah, that's really, it's really hard to get these speed tunnels to work. But in all the chaos, this, this looks fantastic, man. This is great. Oh man. Yeah. I just feel like we're in some kind of mental scape that's really going through it <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> Ooh, we have a, uh, or maybe, maybe the speed force broke open in their hangar. And, like, everything's, like, maybe, like, they're trying, they airlocked it off. But this is, like, the chaos that ensued with the takeover of some kind. Or the speed force breaking through and breaking the whole lab. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's very fun, though. I'm, I'm a fan. <laughs> Controlled chaos. In the best way. So we have a storage area back here, which you guys know I love. <laughs> of course, we have the, uh, what is it, the World Forge <laughs> in the Cosmic Tuning Fork in the background. A few more treasures here. Very, very nice. Ooh, is that Athena's throne with the owl in the God Spear window? Very nice. And yeah, and then oh yeah, there is a there is a goddess statue here too. So like, again with all the clutter, this is great. <laughs> and then we thankfully have an exit out of the madness here at the very end. <laughs> so yeah, that was Mean Streak One's op. What is it? Uh, OPM or One Psychotic Mind. So thank you again so much to Mean Streak for entering Base Off and letting me tour around uh, or Cameo. <laughs> I'm not sure which one is your main, but either way, amazing bases. So thank you again so much for letting me tour. And thank you guys so much for watching. Um, No new announcements, just Base Off is still going on. Season No, I will always link it in the description uh, as well as uh, at the end of this video. So hopefully you guys will click on that. But yeah, I think that's about it. So again, th thank you so much to Mean Streak. And thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. And I will catch you in the next one. Take care, everybody.